Man had first settled down by the original stories like the Hookley, furnished it for navigation by taking advantage of high tidal rise. of the Holy Ganga, full marine resources and navigation in the eastern India. Kalkata are the gifts of the Hooghly. Industries depend on this river for their survival of the mouths of tributaries, huge amount of sediment in suspension in the estuary and a steep angle between flood and F flows. This is another reason for decreasing draft of the reef. River training work is intervention in the flow of the river water for the dual purpose of maintaining the shoreline and, and at the same time diverting channel. For this purpose, indigenous materials are used and local laborers are engaged. Calcutta Port Trust in taking these works. Before taking any work, they make model studies at Calcutta Station Pune. For engineer, the river training work will not go futile. It has already given a great role for the development of the local area. I wish our engineers will continue to endeavor this type of river training work also in the future. I wish them all success. Presently, river training activities are going on near Hooghly Point, upstream of the confluence of the Hooghly and the Rupnarayan. This section is highly salvation prone due to difficult geomorphological conditions with sharp angle between flood and air flows, formation of continuous eddies, and conflicting currents that caution of cells on the navigational track. To prevent this, paths are being constructed along the ridges of Falta, Naina Nurpur, Chibganj, and Garyapur areas. This path are up to 0.63 km and levels 1.7 m above CPT datum. Calcutta Port Trust engineers are supervising this work from Falta and Gyokhali camps. Again, on Kalti Riches, close to Rangapala shipping channel, a large number of short bank protection spars are being constructed. Calcutta Port Trust engineers are supervising this work from the Nishchindapur camp. For more than two decades, Calcutta Port Trust has been trying to improve the navigability of the river today. To achieve this, various river training programs like silt trap dredging, estuarian dredging with disposal of oil on the shore as also construction of bank protection parts have been dried 
is very important. Designing a spa will take composition as well as the alignment of the spa are determined by physical and numerical modeling as well as prolonged study and observation of the people. The properly designed spot results in fixed deposition near the bank line and diversion of the river flow at required points so that the navigating channel is stabilized and the gas in the channel is improved. Parks constructed along the Kalti riches are already giving good results. The position here is restricted to bank line and the Rangapala city channel is stabilizing. Under the present project, spas are being built with inexpensive indigenous materials. Bamboo has been extensively used for its long life in submerged condition. Instead of highly expensive synthetic geo fabric, which is also unfriendly to environment, bamboo cages and sandbags have been used as filter materials. The alluvial on the virgin bed of an alluvial estuary is a mud because of the peculiar nature of the wet particles. The dead particles vary in size from 0.017 mm, which is the median diameter, that is the that is V60, to 0 0.065 mm, but it can go as high as 0.2 mm. In the absence of the filter, this type of river bed starts towering, coming into contact with heavy materials like lateralized boulders. As soon as the heavy material is dumped on the virgin bed, boundary layer flow takes place around it forming constant vortices that cause the lifting of bed materials and sinking of the heavy material into the bed. In course of time, the heavy material is completely swallowed by the bed. This is how you know a ground ship sinks below actuarial bed. Lateral boulders required for this project are brought from quarries in the nearby forest areas of Midnapur. There, the rocky terrain is blasted with explosives made from sulfur sodium chloride and charcoal. After the explosion, and cut to required sizes and weights. are then taken by truck to the dumping site at Gnokalo. Before and after the dumping, every truck has to pass to a way bridge near the dumping site for recording. The specific gravity of each batch of boulders is tested at the site laboratory.
shoulders are then manually loaded to the posts and parties. After loading, they are brought to the dumping site by steamers. Dumping, every boat and barge is placement method to ascertain the quantity of boulders carried by each. At the required positions on the spar, the boats are lined up to a certain alignment determined by the engineers. when the river current is minimum. to give proper profile to the spars. This entire operation goes on depending on tidal conditions till the spars are constructed to the required line, level and cross section. The cost of this work is about to be 7.5 stores, which covers only a small part of the projected river training of this past estuary. Calcutta Port, in spite of its various constraints, is interfering hard to keep the estuary navigable for seafaring vessels. Because the post can survive only if this beautiful river survives. 